So this was taken in Hatfield Peveril in one of the one of our members' gardens, Ken Hudgel, and uh, he's had several bramblings in his garden recently. And if you look on its left leg there, you can see a ring. So uh, over the last couple of weeks, Ken's been watching his bramblings, and then another bird turned up, and another male brambling. This one's got a ring on its right leg. Um, and this just got us to thinking really about ringing really and, and observation. So, so Ken had his bramblings and then Sean Nixon photographed this rock pipit at the Hythe in, North, in Colchester. And if you can see there on its right leg, it's got a green color ring. Mm. So I thought I'd just cover just for a few minutes tonight about ringing and how to submit your records for ringing. This is what a picture that I took of a great white egret um, in November that was at Aberton. Uh, again, it had a colour ring on its leg. So, examples of colour ringing. So, I've, I've used four examples here. So, top left-hand corner, um, we've got a marsh harrier with a green wing tag. Then, bottom left, we've got a black-tailed godwit with colour rings. And then, bottom right, we've got a bar-tailed godwit with uh, colour rings and a colour uh, flag. And then, top right-hand corner, we've got some grey lag geese. Um, that was actually taken in Iceland, but with neck collars. So these are all, this is all something that bird watchers, we can all look for and then record. Um, doesn't matter which county it's in either. So the best way of, if you spot a bird like this, um, there's a brilliant website um, that's on the screen here, www.uring.org. And that will take you to a page that you see pretty much like this how to report ring, rings. So if you see a, a bird with a metal ring, like Ken did, um, you can click on that. Or a closed ring, which is in the middle section, or like pigeons and stuff like that. Or if you see a bird with a coloured ring or a coloured tag, then you can click on that. Um, really important. I mean, Ken did a wonderful job because he managed to take lots of photographs of his bramblings and he pieced together the number. Mm -hmm. So by sending that information off, you, you get, often get a very detailed ringing report back. So this is a report for Ken's bramblings. The first brambling was rung in Norway, which is really interesting in, in 2020. So you get this wonderful information back if you spot a ring bird. So that's for Ken's brambling. And, and then his, this is his other brambling. So again, this was rung in, in Staffordshire in 2016 and it hasn't been seen since oh. and so it turned up in Hatfield Peveril so amazing information that you can get back from the ringers um, and Sean Nixon's rock pipit was again Norwegian um, and then my the, the, the great white egret that I photographed was from Lithuania oh. so just by using that Euring website entering your details of where you've seen the bird and for things like for us in Essex um, you've got lots of black-tailed godwits that have colour rings and places like Haybridge, um, Fingering Ho, you know, um, the, cult, yeah, the Star Estuary, great place to look for colour rings. So that just gives you a little brief insight. And I'll just go back to that page again, just for anyone who wants to make a note of it. Uh, www.eu-ring.org. Yeah, really good, yeah. really good website. And then you say, enter as much information as you possibly can and you should get some information back. That, that must be quite rewarding for the ringer themselves as well when they get the information back from the sighting to know the bird's still out there and to find out where it's gone. Absolutely yeah I remember reading a report I think it was it last year or maybe a year before where there's a guy he rang a sedge warbler in I think it was like Wales or somewhere and then he went on holiday to do some ringing in like Africa somewhere and he caught the same sedge warbler. No. Yeah, wow. well, I think it was sedge warbler or reed warbler. But Changes yeah, of that. He caught, yeah, yeah, amazing. So yeah, and it's something that we can all do, you know, while you're out birding. I mean, Ken did a remarkable job reading the metal ring, but colour rings, look out for them. Yeah. Was, was it you that told me the story of the lesser black bat goal? It, it, it frequented somebody's garden regularly um, and it was a ringed bird and they reported it and I think it kind of got so used to them it pecked on the on the patio doors to get food um, and then it, it went one one day and they hadn't seen it for a, a week or so they got a bit worried 
but they noticed it had been reported with uh, 24 hours after being in their garden. It was in a car park in Spain. Wow. In wow. Hours. So, yeah. The information is so important, you know, and again, a lot of that information gets forwarded to our county recorder. And for those who don't know, this is the Essex Bird Report. And uh, in the back of the Essex Bird Report, there's a really good section on, on ringing that uh, David Wilkinson's edited. Gives loads of information about where birds have been rung in Essex. So your information is very important. Yeah, so, I mean, it, just gives, it gives them a, an idea of, you know, where these species are, are going, where they're spending summers, winters and and movement and migration and, and so on it's, it's very important but it is easy to overlook I mean I've done it a few times where you know I've been so intent on watching the bird it's taking me a, a bit a bit of time to notice there's a ring so yeah. I now try and kind of look at the legs especially on waders and gulls yeah. um, you know look at the legs fairly quickly and hopefully spot a ring if you're lucky it's quite addictive you can spend hours just looking through the flocks for rings and yeah, yeah. 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 Particularly waders, is a flock of black-tailed godwit turned up on the river, and uh, they often have probably about half a dozen birds uh, with rings. Sometimes the you have to get the combination of the left and right legs, don't you? And also, kind of whether it's above the knee or below the knee. Um, some of the rings, kind of above knee or below knee. Make notes of that yeah. on your phone or your yeah. notebook, and then uh, yeah, get the info in. Yeah. 